haven't picked up the camera in like two, three months now. Um, just been working, grinding. If you guys saw, I shot a music video. Go check that out. I'll link it below. But uh, we're going to go to Rose Bowl. I thought it'd be interesting to take you guys along and come along for the road. Too dirt, so do you. Just might as well go to the early bird Rose Bowl. So starts in fire, uh, at starts at 5 a.m. 30 minutes. Just stopping by 7-Eleven really quick and pick up some drinks, some snacks or whatever. But pick it up later. New sky shines on my un. shop is full of bullshit you know you live you learn nothing but good shit heaters I don't know what else to say just fucking cold as shit at this point If only you guys can see the other side of my room right now, it is... Some of them have already been processed and now they're all mixed up. So I'm gonna have a fun time putting these back, but I'm pulled everything just so I can show you guys. And I'm gonna start with the pants over here. We got some seafarers, cool little pocket design. I love pockets like this. I have some other bell bottoms that have similar uh, pockets. I mean, they're right there. I might as well just, okay. These are the other bell bottoms. These aren't seafarers, but they are beautiful, as you can see. Just lovely. Love these. Love these as well. Cool little embroidery right here. That says Gaudi. But yeah, just some cool like acid wash. I'd say like 90s, 80s. These are really cool. I'm taxing on these, and these are not even listed yet. What is there to say? Like a duck camo, thin cloud camo. Beautiful. Just some 501s. I released the hem on them. Cool little wash. They have a weird cut to them because they've been adjusted. So if you look at that, you can see that there's more room in the bum area for the thick boys out there and girls. These honestly are debatably like if it, like the regular 501 90s, like whatever. These ones, these are Y2K. You see a 501 tab like this, best believe that the wash is gonna be sick. When it has that 501 butt, straight leg button fly tab, you just know it's gonna be something good. So personally, this is like a dark wash. I don't really like, like the dark washes like that, but I will show you another pair that have that tab and you'll know what I'm talking about. Bell bottoms, not the super flared ones, but the uh, burgundy cotton corduroy white tab, 646 bell bottom, uh, 517 bootcut flare dress pants. Carhartt 
Hearts, Made in USA, Black, Distress, Sun Faded, really sick. Again, what I tell you. What I tell you. Fucking perfect. Now these are waist 30. They're measured to a size 28 because vintage, you know how it is. But God, dude, like, why are these pairs always like the best? If you can only like feel them, like, oh my God. 501s, Y2K, baggy, 80s, 501s, inseam has been adjusted, dark wash, Five, just your classic 501, 90s era, you can tell with the black bold tab, like where it says 501, it's black font, and it's bold, that's 90s, when it has thin, thin tab, or a thin font in the tab, it's gonna be 80s. Oh, these guys, bell bottoms. They're like the stretchy active jeans, they're orange tabs, they're light wash, they're, I mean, I wouldn't say bell bottoms, I'd say they're like boot cut flare, really nice. Dickies carpenter shirts, Carhartt cargo shorts, Carhartt denim, carpenter style. Not double knees. Y2K, so 2000s, because of this tab right there. It doesn't say made in USA. And then, honestly, these are fucking sick. If the inseam was just longer, I would just, you know, belt this really fucking big. Uh, paint splattered, super sun faded. Just look at that gradient on what the color used to be and what it is now. Just perfect I mean yeah you're perfect big boy size right here I got you covered again 501s I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through the rest of these because our NASA Sedgefield 1970s bell-bottom denim pants they're 70s because like I said you can usually date stuff with the zipper so let me check that zipper out Oh. Yep. Boom. Oh. 501, you know the deal. Boom. Oh, this is a sick pair. I believe I have these at like 125 or 150. Super sick. I might even keep these pair, honestly. Oh, yeah. Before I even show you this pair, what I say? What I say earlier? Okay. Look at this. Before I even, what do they do to these jeans to get such a wash like that? I think I'm just a sucker for these because of the fear of God stuff that I was like into uh, back in the day. There was a fear of God jeans that I regret selling that were called the fear of God, holy water, holy water wash. And it looked just like that. But look, check this out. Paint splattered perfectly, and the wash is like the, the best wash I've ever seen. Best. I know what people like, there's a demand, there's a market. If I put these on grail for 75, they're gone. That's it, boom, they fly off the shelves. No, no, no. I want my time with these. I wanna hold on to them, I wanna appreciate them. Maybe I can have a friend who wants to borrow them, who wants to model them, or whatever. I want to keep these as long as I can. So I have them at 180. If you want them 180, you know, on some gallery department, you know, shit right there. I just don't want to say I'm not, I'm not giving those up for 75 just because of the market value. All right, who cut? Y2K. Boom. Paint splattered. Again, on some gallery department shit. These are my personals, so I'm not really trying to give any deals on that, but if I have to, and I'm sick of them, you can have them, whatever. Joshua Tree, neck thrashed, and I actually got bamboozled, so I thought this was like a vintage one, and to everyone out there that's a vintage head, or can date vintage, they will tell you that this looks like it's vintage too. The sleeves aren't single stitch, you can't tell, it was released. Uh, the bottom is double stitched, but some t-shirts from the 80s, they were single stitched on the sleeves, but double stitched on the bottom. 
so you can't really go by that. Usually there's a stitch right here along the side on newer generation t-shirts. I can show you an example where this boy. Wow, I don't have anything fucking new. Everything's fucking vintage now. I don't have a single piece of modern. Okay, this one's a good example. Because of the care tag that has to usually be inside t-shirts right here, they have to have like a stitch down there. Spin off of Sisters of Mercy. And then as you can see what I mentioned before, that stitch that goes all the way down, used to date. So this, if there was no tags that said rude or whatever, you would think it's a band tee just because it's uh, faded and it has all the characteristics of it. But can you fucking believe? Like, I thought this was just like chop neck. Like, okay, cool. Like, I would wear it. It's personal. I think I still am going to wear it. But take a load of fucking this, eh? Seventeen, dude. Oh, and I paid like twenty for this too. This is an L buy right here. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. It all it all evens out in the end once when you get your W's and your L's. Okay. So I don't know if this is like a Rolling Stone T, but it's definitely the Rolling Stone logo. I looked it up, uh, this tea cafe in Amsterdam, Holland. I don't have it listed yet, but I will think about it. Uh, Kelly Clan, Crest logo, paper thin ringer t-shirt, 1970s or 60s. Look at that, beautiful. Ellis Plumbing. I've, I got this from Rose Bowl, but this was from like 2022, but I thought I'd just throw this one in here because it is a really cool t-shirt. I'm going knocking futs. African rainforest. Liquid blue all over print. Bonneville. Champion. 1989. National Hot Rod Association. What is that? World Record? World Record Club. Boom. Into it, you know, like Credit Karma, all that shit. Into it, that company. Boom. Cool little uh, like moon landing kind of thing going on, moon launch or night. And then it's their spin off of their company, like they launched or they're launching some type of program or I don't know. In and out, double XL, In and out, California with the uh, muscle car on the back. I believe it to be a, actually I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna get one. Oakland Athletics, 1989 championship. Front hit only. In and out again, Shelby Cobra, everyone knows that car. In and out graphic, boom. Again, double XL, shit. I wasn't on Xbox, I was on PS3, but I know there's a lot of people out there collecting gaming t-shirts now, that shit's retro. Uh, Xbox. 2003, what is it again? Mountain? Mammoth Mountain. I think maybe it was a snowboarding game. Uh, World Cup 1994. Just perfectly distressed in every way. Except for this. This is kind of like OD. That needs a repair. But like when when the collar starts splitting, you already know. The Endangered Coral Reef. Detailed graphic. Paper thin. Single stitch. Perfectly distressed. Nothing else to say. Reflections. Vietnam, Washington, D.C. With the art graphic on it. Cool. Crazy Shirts Hawaii, Wrap Around, Palm Tree. 1970s. 1977. And then this is pretty cool because it has like a marble type of like tie-dye wash that's faded. Nothing over the top when it comes to tie-dye. Something very tasteful, boxy fit, single stitch. This is a personal, like, that's a personal. You can't, you won't ever find shit like that again. This is a personal as well. Most likely not for sale. If it sells, I'm probably gonna refund it. Uh, the, the shirt that I get a lot of compliments on that I've been wearing recently. Uh, in and out Burger, Southern California. Perfectly distressed around the collar and it has the Shelby Cobra again but it's a lot nicer this one's just better in every single way
I didn't think this one was gonna be personal, but I ended up stretching it out, making it more boxy. But Super Bell Axle Company with an art graphic of a hot rod, front and back. Hot rod is driving towards you, point of view. Hence, the front and then the back. Again, paper thin. Super thin, soft, stretchy, distressed. Like, it has all the good characters. Silicon Valley, 1997, with all of the tech companies on there from the 90s. Yep. Nike Just Do It, made in USA. It's gonna fit me pretty tight. So, it's tagged large, but please, if you're gonna shop on my grill, go by my dimensions and read my descriptions because I'm very transparent. All over print, Eagle Landing, Jeff DeWord, 1996. Heather Gray, Icy Blue Mountain details. Billings, Montana, air tanker base. Okay, literally, this is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about the, the characteristics of the t-shirt earlier. This t-shirt fucking sucks. Okay, I'm sorry, this t-shirt sucks. Uh, the color is bad, but the sun fading is nice. The graphic is bad, but the distressing is nice. Like, some of the staining is pretty bad. I mean, this t-shirt is in rough shape. Again. But, uh, like, come on. Um, look at all this. How can I not pick this up? I don't know. Some guy wanted to buy the t-shirt for fabric off of me. <laughs> On Etsy. I mean, I bought it for fabric too, but like, nah, man. Okay, what is this? Guinness? Oh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. This fucking beer company. And then where it was served at uh, Philadelphia. Super sick. I mean, yeah, armpit completely thrashed out, but we love shit like that. It's fucking amazing. Skateboarding is not a crime. Y2K. The real fucking deal. Made in USA. The real fucking deal, man. This ain't no fucking joke. Oh, my camera's gonna die, yo. Yeah. Boom, okay. Stanford sweatshirt. Oh my God, there is more sweatshirts that I fucking have got. Uh, okay, there's like six sweatshirts behind this huge pile that I got also from Rose Bowl. I was wondering why there's only a couple here, but you know, this Kuji styled 3D knit one, and then this cool Ferrari graphic sweatshirt. Boom. 1950s 1950s McGregor sportswear flannel look at those look at those flaps look at those flaps look at the pearl the iridescent pearl buttons look at that tag okay look at that collar beautiful now I'm just gonna fucking put this on as a statement to tell everyone to fuck off because this is not for sale. Well, it is for sale, but you're getting refunded. I'm just, it's just for sale. Not for sale. This one's also not for sale. You see me wear this plenty of times in the vlog. Got this puffer jacket. Nevica, this like cool, like color blocking jacket. This is fucking me up. Cool Western jacket, purple. Yep. Two North Face jackets, both women's. One's like um, like a lavender. This one's gonna be just your normal blue talon zipper. So this one's older. This one's made in USA. This one's made in USA. Both vintage puffer jackets. It's not puffer jacket season, but I have them. There you go. Puffer vests. This one's reversible. You want another colorway, boom. Both 80s. Ski wear jacket right here that has very cool 
way to button up and cover and shield your face. Um, made in Korea, 1990s um, Nike windbreaker with some cool color blocking abstract design. Like a 1970s, 1980s wool blend flannel. Uh, this one should be on my grail uh, within the next uh, couple days. Actually, it should be on your. It should be on grail by the time I'm seeing this. Um, yeah, King Louis 1970s satin button-up jacket. One of my favorites. It says Max. Cool. Look at that. Boom. Carhartt child size. Foam, 1970s, 1960s work jacket, Amtrak, Talon zip, no, Scobble, Scobble zip, Levi's, 90s, Type 3 jacket, fits me very slim, so if you're around 5'10", this will fit you perfectly, look at that Talon zip, yo. Jumpsuit, work jumpsuit, whatever, paint thrash, distress, repairs, maybe 60s? Um, but the brand is called Key. That's all I can go off of. That right there and the zipper. That concludes my Rose Bowl haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, or if you have any feedback on how I can do things better, uh, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram or just drop a comment. Um, and that's all. That's all I can really say. Thanks for supporting me and I will be posting more often. So look out for that. Peace, 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 peace.